today the topic of discussion is array address calculation that is how to calculate address in array and in that we'll study one dimensional array address calculation so let's begin with array address calculation of one dimension so one dimensional array address calculation uh, what is array first array are defined as collection of similar type of data Th this is very true that is you know that array is a collection of similar type of data item stored at contiguous memory location so if you say this is an array uh, having following elements let's uh, let's put some element that is 2 3 4 5 and 6 then these elements are at contiguous positions fine so array is a collection of element then array are derived data type array are derived data type in c programming language which can store the primitive type of data so it's a derived data type which store actually primitive type of data like integer character double and float if i say this array is a it's a storing integer type of data fine so if an array is storing a data then that data should be similar fine if it is a storing integer then it should be integer or if character then character if float then float fine okay array is the simplest data structure where each data element can be randomly accessed by using its index number now suppose if you want to access the element of this array then you should use index so index generally start from 0 or you can start from 1 0 1 2 3 4 suppose you want to access this element what you will do you write a2 the moment you write a2 you you, you will access element 4 the moment you write a3 you will access element 5 that is at a array a at third index value is 5 fine okay so this is uh, us uh, about array now if uh, if we see the diagram of array so there is an uh, array uh, in teacher name is array having size 5 so we have created this 5 blocks uh, the base address of this array 0 array 0 is 100 and then 104 why 104 because suppose this data is integer data the array is storing uh, the element is integer and integer take 4 byte so if integer is taking 4 byte the next address will obviously be 104 then it will be 108 and then will be 1012 and suppose if it's 2 byte then 10102 104 something like that now i te tell you something internal if i see this block this block that is a0 block then i know that the size of this block is 4 byte fine because this block is containing a data having 4 byte but if i tell you the base address then this 4 byte itself is divided into you know uh, uh, single single byte uh, byte byte by byte so there are actually 4 byte then this 100 the 100 is the first address this base address is the first address of a0 100 then this is 101 this is 102 2 and this is 103 so similarly this is 104 then 105 then 106 then this one is 107 and this is 108 so what is this what is this called this is called word and represented by w so w is word per memory cell so this is w which is called word fine okay why i'm telling you all this this things because this will be used uh while solving the question so let's start with the question so one dimension array and let's let's see the let's see the some basic part and then we'll see the formula so uh generally uh array start from either index 0 or it start from index 1 fine if array suppose this array is 10 if it start from index 0 then its maximum index will be 9 this is what given so if array start from 0 index and having size n then its maximum index will be n minus 1 fine so if array is starting from 0 index then its maximum index will be 9 if array size is 10 fine if array size is 10 and its starting index is 1 then it will be 10 fine similarly if it's starting from 1 it will be n fine okay accessing element of an array if you want to access an element of array what i'm i what, what i'm trying to tell you is this suppose you have an array of size 500 and you want the address and you want the address of array 456 what you will do you want address of an array uh that is 104 or something like that what what will be that in that case what do you want what do you need actually to access any random element of an array we need following information first base address of array that is this array's base address then w that is size of element which size of element we are storing in that array or we can say word length which type of indexing we are using that which indexing we are using we are using zero index we are using one index or we are using a index like this that is suppose array is minus 5 and 4 this means here this array index which is starting from minus 5 and going till 4 that is minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 dash 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 1 2 3 4 here lower bound is minus 5 upper bound is 4 fine so 
if the array index start from 0 and 1, this type of error is called regular array. If array index start from other than 0 and 1, this is called non-regular array. Fine. So this is what I wanted to tell you that indexing is also important that which indexing we are using. So if you want to calculate the address of array, then three things you want base address, size and indexing type you are using. Now, the formula address of any element of 1D array can be calculated using following formula. The formula is location of AK. AK means K is what? K is the address which you are looking for, uh, the, the index which you are looking for. That is if you are looking for address of A456. I just told you here, 456. So, this K is what? 456. Fine. Then you need base address W. K is what? 456 and then lower bound. So, if you put in this formula, you will able to calculate calculate address of one dimension fine let's start let's see this so you have a question i'm sorry so you have a question one dimension array this is question one we'll solve two question here so this is question one in an array see the array i just told you this is non-regular array having lower bound what minus 10 this is lower bound and upper bound is plus 2 uh, i have already mentioned given base address you have given base address also size of uh, array element or word length given 2 byte fine then you have to calculate the address of location a1 that is k value is what is minus 1 that is you have to calculate location of a k is minus 1 then formula is base address base address is 999 plus w into what is w2 k what is k minus 1 minus lower bound what is lower bound minus 10 then you put minus 10 over here so now when you solve this you get 999 plus 2 into 2 into 2 into uh, minus 1 plus 10 which is 9 9 into 2 18 then you get 1017 so 1017 is an address of of minus 1 a minus 1 if you say what is the base address of minus 10 999 because the starting address is 999 but you are not interested for minus uh, 10 you are interested for minus 1 so minus 1 is 1017 now you have a second question and i took this question from shams uh, from which is of tata mcgraw hill uh, it's very very good book of data structure so uh, this consider uh, the array auto the name of array is auto you generally use a b here name is auto which record the number of automobiles sold in year 1932 through 1984 so this array keeps the record of automobiles sold in nine from 1932 from 1932 through 1984 so you have a here you have a record here that is this array is storing so this array is storing uh, uh, so if i say this lower bound lower bound of this array is wait just lower bound of this array is 1932 that is uh, it's starting from 1932 and it's going till 1984 fine okay then uh, if you say what is base address base address is 200 fine and each memory uh, each uh, you know byte uh, the word length is 4 fine so one word length is this one word length is this one word length is this fine so i'll remove all these things so okay now what suppose auto appears in a memory as pictured in figure 4.3 this is figure 4.3 fine okay that is base you have given base of addresses base of array is 200 w is given 4 now location uh, it's showing that location of 1932 is 200 that is base address 200 location of 1933 is 204 it's starting from 204 34 is starting from 208 fine okay this is the, uh, given the address you have to calculate the address of 1965 that what will be the address of 1965 no you know the formula what is the formula location of a k what is k 1965 is equal to base a base or auto plus w into k minus lower bound now put you have already put 1965 so auto 1965 you have already put this base auto you have given 200 w you have given 4 K is 1965, lower bound is 1932, 1932, uh, this is uh, this is what 33, if I'm not wrong, this is 200 plus 4 into this is 33 and uh, this, this will give you, if I'm not wrong, 112, uh, 100, uh, 120, uh, 34, 120, 120 and uh, 2, 132, if I'm not wrong, this will be 200 plus 132. Two, so this will be 332 uh, if mathematically i'm not going any mistake i'm not doing any mistake so your, your job is to put just put uh, put in formula fine so you are getting this address so this is the address of what index k what is k 965 
now if you want to see that this formula is working right or not now you just calculate the address of 1934 so your job is to calculate the location of auto 1934 so the formula is what the formula is base a plus w into k what k is 1934 minus lower bound what is lower bound 1932 now put base a is 200 plus w is what 4 this is what 2 Four to eight. This is what you are getting two zero eight. And if you see nineteen thirty four, the base address is what two zero eight. So yes, this formula is exactly working fine. So if I say uh, what will be the address of nineteen sixty five, it is three thirty two. Fine. Okay. 